and it seems like it's working. All right, let's get started Yay. with the show in three, two, one. Hello, and welcome to the very first episode of the Binding of Moon Pier Boston Rebirth. Uh, this is going to be our, our for a, a while, I guess, an indeterminate amount of time. Uh, yeah, a little bit. Yeah. Uh, this will be our our place to uh, to talk about the binding of Isaac. Um, we're there's sort of two uh, two purposes for this. Uh, one is um, we're gonna take pity on Nobs because it's just, I think it's just <laughs> killing him. Um, the He's other been through it once, he doesn't need to go through it again. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, the other reason is we're, we're now that Moon is making more progress, we're just gonna get more and more inside baseball on items and mechanics and characters and all this stuff and I I I have been and I think Moon has shared my worry that it it could potentially drag the, the TVGP proper down a little bit too much. We don't typically dive that deep into a game. That's that's usually game club, that's some other stuff. So um Bonnie Vizek is is a, a complex game, so that's, my, that's saying that's not giving it enough credit for how <laughs> how complex it is. Yeah, so we might as well give it a little bit of breathing room here on its own its own little thing. Um, yeah, I do. Uh, for the very first episode here, I do want to give a, a shout out to Shark of the Red Sea. He wrote in an email uh, a couple weeks ago with basically this show as the title, and ever since then I keep thinking about it, and going, <laughs> ah, "That's funny." <laughs> so <laughs> decided to name the show that. Well, it's very appropriate. Yeah. Yeah, it is the the binding of Moonpeer. Um, yes, I, as it is my rebirth of uh, my enjoyment in Binding of Isaac because I haven't played it for in any regular fashion for probably the last couple of months. Uh, once I hit yeah. a, a thousand or a million and one percent or a thousand and one, whatever it is on on uh, Afterbirth. I don't even know that mine shows a percentage on it. <laughs> yeah, it's more of a joke. I mean, you'll get. I th I think the progression is like. Platinum God, real Platinum God, you get like 101%. I think Afterbirth oh, is 1,001, and then Afterbirth Plus is a million and one. Um, oh, of course it is. Yeah. Uh, and then at every time it, it pleads you to stop playing the game. But no, mm -hmm. I will not. <laughs> um, so I think we're, we're only going to have sort of... This isn't going to be a super long uh, episode every week. But uh, I think we're going to have two primary topics, and one is... Where's Moon? And the other one yes. is dailies of the week. Um, if we can, whatever we can remember of them, uh, you know, we're we're gonna suss out this format as we go along. So, uh, Moon, where what what has your progress looked like uh, in Binding of Isaac this past week? Well, on the show proper, would you t you talked and you talked about it a little bit, and you said, well, basically the load screen is the screen that tells you what you're supposed to be doing. Right, I'm from now, where you're at. I, believe i've figured it out okay because uh i played it a bunch last night as well um we were talking about this i've been in a bit of a funk so literally all i've been playing is isaac yeah uh, i literally i've beaten the cathedral about six five six times this week okay um and as i've been beating the cathedral that load t that loading screen it's turning into a family photo yeah Part of it is dark, uh, but the rest of it is now white. So the right. way I figure it, obviously, I'm not 100% sure. But I figure I need to beat the cathedral. And is it is it Seoul or Seoul? A shoal is how I've heard it yeah. pronounced. I need to beat that the same number of times because I figure it fills in the photo when you beat the cathedral and then yep. it darkens it when you beat Shoal. Yeah. So, so you're basically... I don't want to spoil too much of it, but um, you're basically going to unlock two items that drop after you beat mom and mm -hmm. i think i've unlocked the first one of them last night uh probably um, yeah the um, polaroid is what i unlocked yeah you unlocked the the first of the two items and basically what that'll allow you to do is that's the key to unlock the last levels um okay. you've been to the dark room before that's kind of the the down path and then there's a, okay. an up path so that's really until Afterbirth Plus comes to consoles, because uh, if if you don't listen to TVGP proper, uh, I'm playing on PS4 and Moon is playing on Xbox One. Um, Afterbirth Plus is supposed to come out in spring, so any day. Who knows? <laughs> from now, yeah, from now until July. 
Yeah, you... I find that funny because you haven't been bitten by Nicholas before, where it's like, oh, it'll come out in spring. We'll get it in, like, September. Um, yeah. But, yeah, that'll be... That's basically the last... The last steps, and you'll you'll be able to go the furthest on both paths. You're, you're once you hit uh, Mom's heart, you, those two paths diverge. Okay, so I'm assuming the Polaroid is the good thing, unless they've reversed it, where the Polaroid is the bad thing. Yeah, the Polaroid where... is the like the light path. Okay, so it's Polaroid still to the cathedral. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and then. Uh, the... Yeah, so basically, uh, since you've already figured out, you'll take pick up the Polaroid, you'll go to the cathedral. Once you beat the cathedral, there's another path yeah. after that. Yeah, it's a bit like before I unlocked the... Before I beat Mom's Heart enough to turn it into the It Lives. Mm -hmm. Before that happened, it was always, oh, there's a devil door and there is a hole in the floor that I can keep going. Or there's right. an angel door that I can keep going upwards. Yeah, yeah. Before the womb was your last, your last set of floors, and yes. then it sort of allowed you to circumvent that. Speaking of the womb, um, <laughs> I I got a, I think I probably this week alone I've probably got about ten fifteen achievements in the game. Oh wow! Uh, just for beating Isaac with different uh, with different characters. Oh, like so you're I like through... filling out the post-it notes. Yes. Yeah. I'm, that's exactly what I'm doing. It's uh, that post-it note. I'm starting to understand it. Yeah. Especially, I think the. The trigger for that was Azazel when I beat Creed mode with him. It had a completely different indicator in a completely different location on the note. Yeah, it had like so the I was like set oh. icon. Yes, so yeah. that made me think, oh, that's clearly going to be what boss you've beaten with who. So literally, I went through the cathedral and I beat it with Magdalene, Cain, Judas, Isaac, the blue baby. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> and I unlocked the D6 for Isaac. So does that mean nice. he starts with that now? Yeah, uh, there's a lot of um, items that either beating Isaac or the final boss of the, we'll call it the light path. I, I don't really want to spoil who who's there, um, but we'll we'll refer to it by name in the future. A lot of those will unlock items where it says, "Oh, now Maggie starts with this item," um, and that will always mean that every time you. Like, now that you, if you look at Isaac on the character select, it'll say, yeah. underneath his stats, it'll say, He's the got D6. the D6. Yeah, so yeah. he'll start with the D6 all the time now. That seems to make him stupidly powerful, because yeah. I I think I had the D7 on one of the dailies, um, and it was ridiculously handy. I think that's re-roll rewards. And yeah. I would get, I would wipe out a room, pick everything up, and then just use it again, and it would spawn all the monsters yeah. again. And and. I felt like that was a little bit overpowered because the toughest part about the start of the game for me is knowing there's a secret room, I don't have any bombs. There yeah. is a, a shop, I don't have any money. Like yeah. That's the toughest part about the start of the game. It's figuring out what what you can do with what you have. And I think that's the reason why I haven't managed to beat the clock. Right. Yeah, that's one of the, well, the topics we've been talking about on Twitter this week. Yeah, I'll rewind to that really in a, in a second. But yeah, back to the womb. I got the achievement, shockingly enough. Didn't think I'd ever get it for beating the womb and the womb two with no damage taken. Oh, wow. Nice. Uh, That's a the tough mama's one. boy achievement. Um, yeah. I honestly didn't think I would ever get it, <laughs> which brings me to one of my favorite items the contact lens. Contact lens. Which one's that? It shields your tears and basically yeah. doesn't allow anything to go through the tears. It allows lasers through it, sure, but it doesn't allow regular shots through it. I felt bad because I my DPS was hot garbage on the run when I did it, but right. I had Lugo V game technique and the contact lens. Oh, so wow! <laughs> literally, I had a shield that I just placed directly over it lives, and when he does the pounding and hits you with bullet hell shooter, yeah, nothing even came out with him. <laughs> I I pick up Ludovico so infrequently that I never even thought about combining it with Shield of Tears because Shield of Tears are so good. Uh, they're so good on paper, and if you have a, a run that has such low DPS your tears block the other tears 
but mm -hmm. and they don't go through. So like there are some times where like you're fighting it lives and you can't hit it because you're firing so slowly that yeah your tears it's like Dragon Ball Z where it's like there's a power struggle and <laughs> you know the laser isn't moving. Um, but yeah, that's man, that'd I, be a hell of a run. I literally just bumped into it, and I'm not even joking. I got I got up to I think it was not the, the one before the room, the two the set of two before the room, and I thought to myself. This boss just took me about literally about twenty minutes to kill. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna do this. Like it lives, took me forever to kill him. Yeah, um, everybody, all the bosses were just like impossibly long winded to kill them because it was low DPS. But then that's when I realized the shielded tears situation, and I was like, well, okay, I've basically got Captain America's shield right here, so yeah, I don't exactly. have to worry about anything. Oh man, that's a good um, one. But yeah, I got that achievement, and I think I again quick flip back to the the clock. Okay, you said I need to beat the clock between the levels. Now, what I was thinking, like the the problem with this game is we would when we were talking about it, I was like, well, do you mean a physical clock? Do you mean something that spawns? <laughs> is there do a I need boss to beat called that? the clock? <laughs> exactly. Right. And someone someone on Twitter was mentioned, yeah, this is about a baby who kills people by crying on them, and. You, <laughs> you know you forgot how weird it was yeah yeah it's one of those things but, where like you ask the question and it's like you know what that's a valid question is there a rabbit yeah. with a clock that shows up that you have to kill mm -hmm. thankfully none of oh, that yeah. it's it's you you it's, have to move faster than the clock seems, on that yeah i was just about to screen. say yeah like i wasn't sure if it was like two levels that i needed to be or anything but i've paid more attention to it over the past couple of days mm -hmm. and yeah i've seen the clock then like, if I move quick, it's behind me, and it yep. seems to be that that's the meter for where I need to be. Yep. If it's in front of me, then obviously I need to book it through the next level in order to try and take over it again. Yep. But my problem is, is when you get to the one, two, three, four, let's say four, five, and six stages, they tend to be so big yeah. that I want to explore everything. I want to see everything. You know, I'll be backwards and forwards and all the time. So I still don't think I've managed to beat it as of yet. I'm sure I beat... Is it standard mom you need to beat or mom's heart? Uh, just mom. There's something after mom's heart, um, but that's... Uh, I don't know how much I want to say. Um, if you beat mom's heart in under 30 minutes, it'll happen. Is it definitely 30? Because I beat mom's heart in like 27 minutes. I checked and nothing happened. I wonder if you haven't unlocked it then yet. You, it, the clock's still there, but I definitely beat her in under 30 minutes because I literally killed her and then held the back button to get the time to pop up. Right. And it was it was a case of 27 minutes. That's cool. I can't wait to see what happens here. Yeah, I, I bet if I bet you haven't unlocked it. I think when you unlock it, it the in-game achievement you get is it either says like, oh, you unlocked Blue Womb or like something from the deep surfaces or something like that. Um, so it'll be one of those things where you look at it and you're like, I don't yeah. know what that is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I definitely don't have something from the deep, but the problem is, is there's so many of those, uh, something from the blank, uh, yeah. like something from the dark has appeared, something from the blank has appeared. Yeah. I, w I was scrolling through my secrets last night to try and make notes of what I've got. But there's 270 secrets, and I was just, I can't remember what half of this stuff is. Yeah, well, like, some of them are, you know, like, the horsemen have appeared, and it's like, great, is that, is that good? Uh, have you unlocked yes. Everything is Terrible? I don't know. Okay. I think I may have. Y you'll know, because it, I, I guess I'll spoil a little bit, but it says, you know, the achievement says, everything is terrible. The, the game just got harder. It's like, oh, God. <laughs> Hmm, actually, I don't know if I've unlocked that one as of yet. You might have to unlock the Polaroid and the negative first. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I think that was the thing that was stopping me because I was consistently, like, I mean, I think I was on a minus 14 streak. Like, that's how, yeah. like, weird my week has been, where I'm just, I'm in such a funk where it's just like, I'm just going to play Isaac over and over and over again. And if I get far, great. If I don't, I don't. Yeah, but that's kind of I mean, that's kind of the beauty of this game is you can play it for an hour. You can play it for two. You can play it for 10 minutes and just be like, OK, I'm done. Yeah, I completed a, a floor or two. I'm pretty good. Yeah, well, I mean, to give you an idea, the run where I got the the Mama's Boy achievement when I 
beat the woman without taking damage. That was an hour and six minutes, that run. Wow. And it was literally only so long because I didn't have the DPS. All yeah. I had was the shield. I didn't have any, you know, any of the the whatever the floaty things around you are called. Oh, uh, orbitals? Yes, I didn't have any of them. I didn't oh, have anything yeah. like that. It's one of it those ones much... where you go into an item room and you're like, this isn't going to help me. Like, it's just more health. I don't need that. I need tears up. I kept on getting speed up. I oh, had, <laughs> I literally as well, I had the full set of red hearts, two rows full of oh, red wow. hearts. Yeah. It was, yeah, it was one of those things where I was just like, this is killing me that so Sometimes much. when I get those runs nowadays, because I've finished everything, I'll just bomb out of it and start another run. It's like, I know I can yeah. finish this. I'd rather run, make a run that I can finish in like 45 minutes instead of an hour and a half. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, and everything is terrible is the achievement you said. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's kill mom's heart five times. I got that one. Okay. Yeah, that one's <laughs> that one to me is like a, a real nasty turning point in Binding of Isaac because by the time you've finished mom's heart five times, I feel like you've you start getting a handle on the game. You're like, all right, I have a yeah, pretty good idea of what items. Like, I, I'm moving a little bit faster. I know what enemies start doing, and then. Everything is terrible it's, comes and it starts introducing champion enemies and champion bosses. And yeah. it's just like, well, that's just mean. They mm -hmm. take way more health. They hit you for a full heart. Champion bosses are usually just mean overall. Yeah, they really are. That's yeah. it. I mean, that's what I mean. You were talking about like when I first started playing it, it was it was okay, this game is tough and it's kicking me in the teeth, but the more I learn, the further you can go with less. Yeah. And that's that's how I feel about the, the run I got with the Mama's Boy achievement. I felt like I had nothing there, and I still managed to go on and not only beat Mom's heart, but I went to the cathedral and I killed Isaac with it as well. Yeah. You know, so I felt like I was very underpowered on that run, despite having what is essentially kind of a game breaker yeah. in in the Ludovigian and the contact lens. Yeah, those are some of my favorite runs. When you start going through some of those, and it just... Nothing is really going your way, but you you somehow manage to scrape and scramble through the whole thing, and you're done. Yeah. And just like thank God. Now I. Oh yeah. And so hopefully the next run will be better. Like maybe I'll treat myself to an Eden run. Uh, maybe that'll be fun. I, you have Eden unlocked, right? Yes, I do. I don't know okay. what the Eden tokens means. I've never actually played as Eden yet. I don't think. Yeah, you get a um... token for finishing the game. Each time you finish the game, you get a token. Um, you should okay. have probably a handful of them at this point. I think it's 13 right now. Yeah, and then every time you start as Eden, it takes one of those tokens away. Um, yeah. But the great thing about Eden is um, playing as her is totally randomized. So health, damage, stats, items you get. You could start with two or three items at the beginning that are super overpowered. You could start with one red heart and no damage and like <laughs> the speed like Maggie. Um, you know, it could really be anything. Yeah. I mean, I, when I was going through my character selections, um, just looking at it, I was, I was like, I, I haven't touched the game as Samson other than the one time I played as Azel on greed mode. Mm -hmm. Like that's literally the only time I played as Azel. I haven't played as Eden yet. Yeah. Um, I, my one and only run with Judas, I got to the cathedral and, and beat it nice. which was you know it's like that's why i'm going through and i'm looking at the post-it notes and i'm thinking i need to play more characters to figure out what more more stuff that happens like yeah you I, we were in discord and we were talking about blue baby and you said you like blue baby mm -hmm. because it's a high risk reward run yeah. i think i probably had 20 runs where i just failed miserably <laughs> And then I had that one run where I got all the way through Cathedral and beat Isaac, and then I get the D6 for it. So it was one of those situations where it's like, okay, this worked out really well. Also, I accidentally picked up the Curse Tears in that run. Ugh. So I was not happy. Yeah. That happens to me every once in a while where it's just like, you know, you have Curse of the Blind, I think it is, where you can't see what items you're picking up. Uh, yeah. And then I'll be like, oh, eh, it's a it's a devil deal. 
I, I'll, I'll just pick it up. It's one heart, and it, it's cursed eye. And it's just like, I swear to God. Yes. <laughs> Every single time. I think the, the thing um, to remember, too, is you still have two characters you haven't unlocked yet. Okay, I did not know this. Yeah, you unlock one by donating a thousand to the greed donation machine. Ugh. Uh, and then... I don't want to play greed mode. <laughs> you're going to have to play greed mode a lot. Um, I, 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 I had a lot of fun playing greed mode once I had the majority of the items unlocked. Um, mm -hmm. And I just honestly hit uh, randomize. And I'll be like, okay, well, I guess this time I'm playing as Samson. Next time I'll play as Eden. You know, I... I got a good chance to kind of stretch my legs with uh, a bunch of other characters. Yeah. Um, the other character... Boy, you unlock him so differently now. Um, you can unlock him once an item called the Lost Poster starts dropping. I think I that's an in-game achievement. Yeah, I don't think I've got that one yet. Uh, Lost Poster... Oh, the missing poster. Yeah. Sorry about that. Um, I want to look up no and see how defeat ah defeat that boss as Isaac. Okay, yeah. So you're you'll unlock okay. Well, that then I've probably eventually. I think I must have that because actually no, no, you don't I have the boss unlocked yet. I was going to say yeah, unless it's one of the additional two, then I have a, then I've beat all the bosses with Isaac. Yeah. Oh wow! It tracks your win streak on the Xbox. Oh, cool! Like you know, under the achievements panel where it's got a whole bunch of additional stats. Yeah, the leader. It just and my win streak. Man, and I've put eighty hours in already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I'm really glad that uh, a PS4 does not track uh, how long you've played a game. <laughs> I should have looked at this a long time ago. Yeah. Marked rocks destroyed. I didn't even know that was a thing until That's that cool. stream that you jumped in on. Yeah. So it tells you there how many poops you've destroyed and everything. This is actually kind of awesome. Oh, man, that's neat. <laughs> you never uh, paid attention to that. So, uh, sort of our last topic here. I, I know we competed on three or four dailies this week. Um, four. Four. Uh, for those that uh, maybe don't follow us on Twitter, basically one of us runs the daily and then takes a screenshot and sends it to the other one on Twitter because we're playing on different uh, platforms. Uh, someday mm -hmm. I'll just buy it on Xbox One and we'll just compete because I have a problem. Because <laughs> you'll have to replay it all again? Yeah. Um, <laughs> it's... I really like Binding of Isaac and that would not be a problem. It's a really good game. Yeah. Um, I, I don't remember what our final weekly win-loss uh, ratio was. Three to one to you. Okay. Um, you won three, I won one. Yeah, I, the... Don't look some... at me, I'm hideous with the one that I beat. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it was an Isaac run, I think. Um, yeah. And it just, it was one of those runs where I I had the yips from, like, the first room, and I couldn't mm -hmm. shake it the whole run and got no damage, got no health, got just, just nothing. And yeah. I think I died on the haunt maybe and i was just like you know, yes. you know what fine close this game well i'm done <laughs> yeah i did to be honest the same the same thing pretty much happened to me it was from the very get-go it was oh i've taken six hits i shouldn't be taking yeah but that seems to be my thing in, in the game as a whole both normal runs and dailies is this is damage i shouldn't have taken yeah that's damage i shouldn't have taken i'm smarter than that i'm faster than that and that one run i just i think we probably i probably almost died exactly where you did several times and only just made it through by the skin of my Isaac. Well, the, and... the thing that was really frustrating me too is um, I kept taking red heart damage, so I wasn't getting deals with the devil, which was frustrating me, which oh, then yes. made me screw up on the next floor immediately, canceling the mm. deal with the devil. I was just like, I, oh my god. <laughs> um, yeah, the other three runs were, were all like pretty powerful runs as well. Yep. Um, like you said, you were saying, like a lot of them are can were kind of overpowered runs, and I this is what kicked off the clock conversation was I didn't know how, what this rush bonus that you were getting was. Yeah, I was getting like ten thousand points. Yes. Yeah. Um, there was a couple of close ones which um I was pleased with, but yeah, yeah you walked away with three one, and that's something you got, you said on the stream that I did explain to me the deal with the devil stuff. Oh sure, sure. You said so. 
you can't get a deal with the devil on the first floor unless uh-huh. it's an XL floor. Um, then okay. you can you can get a, a deal with the devil there. So basically, curse of the labyrinth or whatever. Yeah, curse of the labyrinth. Um, basically, deals with the devil start. You get the when you start the second floor, you have a one hundred percent chance. Uh, second floor and every floor after that, you have a one hundred percent chance of getting a deal with the devil when you start the floor. Um, and if you pick up a deal with the devil on one floor, you have a hundred percent on the next floor. Um, that percentage goes down to zero as soon as you take red heart damage. Oh, wow. Um, you can rebuild that a little bit. Like you'll get something like 15% by blowing up, uh, a beggar, like the coin beggar or the key beggar or <laughs> the heart beggar. Um, you can get some by donating coins to the donation machine, but I think that increases the chance of getting a deal with the angel. Um, so basically your chances Yeah, that of, makes sense. <clears throat> Go good and bad. Yeah, and your chances of getting a deal is separate from getting a chance with the deal with the angel. Um, yeah. Deals with the angel in afterbirth and rebirth are much more rare than devil. They they change that in afterbirth plus in a way that I think is pretty smart. Um but the way the thing that you need to keep in mind too for each one of those deals is something called precedence. If you pick up a deal with the devil, only deals with the devil will spawn for the rest of the run. If yeah, deal, I've noticed it seems to lock you out of the other one because does, I've yeah. had a run where I picked up a deal with the angels and then like four consecutive floors was all angel rooms. Yep. So I figured there was something like that going on where it was like, oh well, one locks you out of the other. Yeah. And and to have really powerful runs that go really fast and go really far deals with the devil and to a lesser degree deal with, with the angel are pretty important. Um, yeah. And like, that's why I kept getting in my own head. I'm like, well, I have these four red hearts and if I could just get in the deal with the devil, I would even trade three of them for a really for powerful sure. run or, you know, pick up something like uh, ceremonial robes that which gives you three, three black hearts, black is hearts. it? Yeah. Um, See, I'm learning. You... I'm slowly yeah. learning what each thing gives you. And um, you know, or like I would pick up uh, Abaddon, um, which takes all your hearts and replaces them with with some other stuff. I kept, I kept, you know, it's it's so bad when you get in your own head with an Isaac run, where you're like, okay, I just I just need to focus. I just walked into an enemy. I sw- come on. <laughs> So. Yeah, that happens with me on Blue Baby runs all the time, where the first floor I take a hit and I'm just like, "This is the well, end. <laughs> that's the, <laughs> the run's over. <laughs> this is the that's the run over. You don't get blue hearts anyway, near enough this early. Yeah, you know I've got no equipment to smash marked rocks or anything like that, so I'm pretty screwed. And yeah. that's it, game over. That's why I like Blue Babies. Is I, I like the fact that you can't get red hearts; you can only get spear hearts and black hearts, and. I like that you don't really have a safety net. Like, if you have a yeah. really great run, it's one of those things where you're, this ball starts rolling downhill and it starts picking up some serious speed. But if yeah. you don't, like, that, you hit a brick wall real early. Yeah, definitely. I think the 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 run I made it through with him, it annoys me a little bit now because Krampus is now in the devil room as well. <laughs> Yeah. I don't like Krampus. Yeah, Krampus I has... I really don't. You are... Oh, man. It, the, as soon as you pick up a devil deal, Krampus will show up on some room. And it's basically... It's more likely the more devil deals you pick up, and you haven't oh, seen him okay. yet. So it's the thing okay. where, like... Both of his items are really good. I'm a big fan of Lump of Coal. Yeah, that that is amazing. I had yeah. that's what I got when I beat him, and I had the laser technology, the circular laser oh, technology. Wow. So I got that and the lump of coal. So I was literally deaf just with walk, with blue baby. Just walk through the rest of that. Yeah, <laughs> pretty um, much. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I I think I I'm I'm curious to I, I we're we're hitting about a half an hour here, so I, we'll start wrapping up, mm. but. <clears throat> um, I'm I'm hopeful that we can continue to uh, 
have this friendly competition we have going on with dailies. And I'm sure at some point they're going to have a, a, a run where it goes a little bit further than you are, or it'll be a character yeah. that you haven't unlocked yet. But, you know, that, well, that's, that's not too bad. <clears throat> that's why I figured out the Polaroid thing, because it appeared on the daily run. Yeah, It doesn't appear in my normal run, but the Polaroid and the dark Polaroid or whatever it is, they both appear on the standard daily run. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's. I'm hoping that the better I get at it, the more I understand things, the more items I unlock. Yeah, you know, <clears throat> uh, it will. The, the friendly competition will continue. <laughs> well, and I it's... will not be happy for a while. <laughs> it's funny though, because I remember where you, when I was in your shoes, um, because I remember like runs taking a really long time because I didn't have, you know, you start getting a mental flow chart together where it's like okay i have all of these items if i pick up this item what is it going to do to kind of modify my my setup right now and is that good yeah. or bad and like your your brain starts doing that faster and faster where it's like okay i've run into this room and ludovico technique is in there i gotta go because i don't need any of that or like i'm having a really great run and tiny planet is in there and <clears throat> this is one of the runs where it can benefit me by picking it up so I'm going to pick that up and start going faster. Um, yeah. And it, the thing I like about Isaac is you just start getting faster and faster and better and better. Um, and yeah. I, I think once you start getting into like, oh, I beat, uh, what was it, all 10 floors of the game in like 25 minutes. Those are runs mm -hmm. where you're like, yeah, death in Well, <laughs> I'm not looking forward to the speed challenge, which is another thing that will you will probably hear a lot from me about is the challenges. Yeah. And that will be a an ongoing uh, topic for conversation in in this little mini show that we're doing. Yeah, but I yeah, have to do those every once in a while. I'll be like, okay, I I'm having some really bad runs. Let me just go do a challenge. That was mm -hmm. terrible. Let's go back to a normal run. <laughs> Let's do some green yeah. mode. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't help that I've got the weird need to kind of go through them numerically, the order they are in. Yeah. And the one, the one I'm up to is um, Solar System. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That pretty much sums up how I feel about Solar System too. <laughs> to be honest, a big old fart noise. Yep. Yeah. Well, no, I mean, I'm looking forward to it. Daily challenges continuing. Um, we will continue the battle. Yeah. Except for today. Well, uh, I haven't had time to do it yet. Me either. <laughs> yeah. But maybe later. Uh, all right. Well, that's our uh, that's our first episode here of uh, Binding of Moonpeer Boston Rebirth. Uh, this will be... Uh, we're recording this before TVGP uh, this week in a little bit of free time we have. Um, this will probably be going up every Wednesday because um, we'll sort of have you know, alternately pop in game club on Saturday. You've got your normal TVGP on, uh, on Mondays. I don't really have anything else in the rest of the week. So I, I guess Monday is or Wednesday is as good a day as any for this to come out. Um, yeah. so we'll, we'll have audio and video of this, uh, up every Wednesday. And I hope we will, um, see everybody here next week. Thank you very much moon for, uh, for joining me on this inaugural uh, episode of this show. Thank you very much for the game and the chaos and insanity which you have brought upon me. You're welcome, Slash. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, and our adventure. Sorry, not sorry. Yeah. Uh, our adventure in the basement continues next week. See ya. Oh my god, my beard's so itchy. All right. Thank you very much, oh, everyone, yeah. for watching. We'll see you next week. Bye.